Hi friends, so today we are going to take a, a quick look at how to make perfect holes on your polygons model models. Um, as you can see uh, in this, uh, let's say low uh, low poly uh, piece of plastic, we have two holes um, that were supposed to um, be used to screw this piece inside uh, with another um, so as you can see the bottom of the holes are horizontal while the top of the hole is not so how can you achieve this and keeping with the subdivision and keeping a very uh, nice detail as much detail as you need when you render the the picture let me just show the octane viewport here as you can see uh, if if i um if i'm too close to the hole i can see the the polygons here but with the turbo smooth just add an iteration and oh it's gone all right if you were if you are not so close you can keep the iterations to two and the hole will be nice and tight as you can see all right free iteration so that's what we want to achieve with subdivision uh, modeling so how to do that uh, i'm gonna try to be uh, to explain as fast as possible but you know i used to explain everything but it's okay uh let's just make a box here on the, on the top side uh, then we are going to work with this box that I will convert here on the modification panel or right click on the box editable poly I'm gonna press F4 to see the, the edges then we're gonna make two things um, let me just um, add some subdivision Let's say to this object with a swift swift no um do you know what we're gonna make it the right way so let's uh, click one of those edges and uh, uh, I don't want to use the shortcut use the ring so they're all selected and now use the connect with options so you can divide your object in um, different uh, pieces okay i think this is gonna be okay now back to the vertex mode well i think that i'm gonna make some uh, <clears throat> some changes here so let's turn off the snap i'm gonna scale those points like this gonna select those ones and move them here let me just move them all down here uh, perhaps we are gonna use a different uh, angle here just for the purpose of the uh, explanation right um, now what if I want to make a hole in the middle of this uh, no polygon in the middle of this polygon well uh, usually people would tell well that's easy just uh, use a cylinder with a boolean and uh, no 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 it's not gonna be okay I won't uh, show you why right now um, but what I can tell you is you must define the center with some lines the center of the hole you want to make with some lines at the outside of the uh, I mean you must define some kind of square uh, which will define the the place where the hole will be and there are different ways to do this and one way not to use is the inset because if you say well okay I'm gonna make my hole let's say uh, I'm gonna select those points now and scale them 
let's say that the center of my hole will be here <laughs> no that's uh, counterproductive to use those diagonals uh, very very bad choice if you want to make uh, sub sub uh, if you want to make the the whole object uh, subdivided later so you must define precisely where you want the hole to be with some kind of swift loops that goes all around the object or all around um, some part of the object so let's first select uh, where the the center will be so let's say uh, I'm gonna use the edges here I select this edge click on the ring button and I'm gonna use again the uh, connect function with only one subdivision right now I'm gonna click on plus I'm gonna select this age even if you cannot see that it is selected it is uh, this is just because we are uh, the uh, connect ages tool is activated so I'm gonna select this age and click on the ring button so all those ages are selected let let me just turn this off as you can see right select this age ring go back to connect and now I have another line that defines uh, the center of the hole I want to make uh, what's great now is to have some more subdivision so let's say the the hole will um, be something like uh, let me use a, a circle here on the top view Alright, here uh, I'm gonna draw a circle. As, as you can see, my object is not actually centered in the scene, but that's not an issue. I'm gonna use the snap tool on vertex, right? And I'm gonna draw a circle from this point, okay? Uh, whatever the size right now, just draw a circle. So now you have this circle which is aligned and centered on this point. Quit the snap mode. Um, I need to edit my circles to um, get rid of the optimize and going back to a step of steps of one with a step of one you will get um, eight edges so now I can set from the top view exactly I can say the radius will be well 20 millimeters all right it's aligned nice and tight okay so uh, now I know that when I will project my circle here on those faces down here I will need to uh, keep everything um, uh, all the police with quads so I will need to link this point perhaps with this corner and this point with this corner but again what I will get is uh, diagonals on those corners and I don't want them to be rounded while using the turbo smooth or any other uh, uh, subdivision uh, function so I need to restrict to um, again to uh, to make it more clean clear where will my circle be so uh, let me uh, take those two edges I'm gonna select this one control select this one click on ring and use the connect tool so uh, this is this can be yeah it's all right it's gonna be okay so I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna define another subsection here on those rings here so I'm gonna select those rings and use the connect tool again with well if I precisely look from the top um, I think those um, new uh, 
uh, connections sub subdivision are too um, close to the circle so I can use uh, no I'm sorry it's not here it's not the pinch this is the slide oh no it is the pinch but why it is not I'm sorry it's not working the the way I thought it will well okay let's just subdivide those rings like this um, I'm gonna double click on this one and I'm gonna move this one to the right but be careful if I move this one to the right as you can see I'm changing the overall topology here so uh, if you want to uh, be sure that you're moving your points following the topology you can use a constraint here let's say constraint on edges and if I move it to the right as you can see the points at the top are following the the edges so I'm gonna do the same thing here move this okay so I'm gonna click back on constraints to none so now we are ready we were not ready before but seeing from top now we are ready to uh, make the hole on those four faces here okay so to do this uh, quite simple in fact uh, let me use shift G to get rid of this I don't like this uh, box around the selected object um, going back to the editable poly and going to uh, creation of a compound object I'm gonna use the shape merge shape merge and now I'm gonna pick a shape which is gonna be the circle I'm gonna be carefully uh, clicking again on the pick shape function to deactivate it because uh, if you don't take care of it you can click twice and having two uh, circles projected and that's not what I want only one all right so now because this circle which is not really a, a nice circle but this circle with only eight edges is nicely projected on this point because it was aligned and it was projected on the Z axis of the of the shape if I go back to modify and I select the, the um, circle if I go to here and I select the local angle the local axis as you can see the Z axis is the the Z axis is the the perpendicular one to the to the um, circle uh, it's important because now uh, just let's get rid of this circle I'm gonna hide it here on uh, the object list um, now if I go to the shape, shape this new shape merge object I can go to the circle and display the operands and let's say uh, sorry I must open this and go to operands select this circle if I turn the circle let's look at the result it's projected with the Z uh, angle of the of the upper end so let's keep it uh, on the right place okay now I will convert back this shape merge to a new editable poly only and I'm nearly ready to make the hole so uh, I need to keep some uh, faces uh, as quads this is really important when uh, working with subdivision as you can see there are points that are uh, not needed here I don't know why it does that but let's just select those unneeded points um, all right and get rid of them using the backspace key now 
um, I need to be sure that there are only one points at the intersections so I'm gonna move them one by one as you can see there is only one only one here and only one here only one I hope at the center yeah uh, let's take a look at those one to be sure they are not uh, okay there is another way to do it it's to select um, use the selection tools and drag around by using using the control key if you drag around all those points you're supposed to have and this one you're supposed to have eight points and you can take a look here eight vertices selected that's okay if you have nine there is a double point somewhere now I'm gonna use the cut tool to link those points to the sides cut from here to here so click on a point click on the destination point so here's the cut and leave the the cut you are making by clicking the right button and do it again one point another right click as you can see my tool I am still on the cut the cut tool is still activated so you can click on the cut button or right click again okay and it will uh, leave the cut uh, tool so everything is in place right now so now I can select my four faces here and whether you can use the the global axis now if I use the shift key on the keyboard and I drag this these faces uh, down I can extrude those faces great uh, now let's say I'm gonna use the local axis as you can see the Z axis is is the perpendicular is the normal of the faces so you can do the same thing use the shift key use this click on the Z axis and move it and now you have a hole uh, let me take a look from the front side with transparency now your hole is uh, facing the uh, is perpendicular to the face but uh, because it was a projected hole it was supposed to be drilled from the top so you need to uh, keep the view the local view axis and well make your hole simply by dragging the faces and the shift key um, pressed now I want the bottom of the hole to be horizontal so uh, what you can do is uh, rotate the faces but as you can see now the hole is not vertical so don't do this select the vertices and use this simple tool here make planner and you can select the axis so I'm gonna select the Z axis and now all those vertices are planar on the same Z plane and the bottom of the hole is horizontal while the top of the hole is uh, on the um, angled surface and now let's just finish this by selecting the edges and use the chamfer tool to uh, double the lines here uh, I mean double um, let's set a distance let's put um, the edge depth to one because I want it to be a nice angle it will be rounded with the turbo smooth function let me just make it a little bigger so um, the contour of the hole will be um, really nice okay so now I will just let's say add uh, some swift loops down here to here and perhaps I can just select those faces down here use a couple of insets so I'm sorry did a mistake first inset a second one and another one like that oh sorry and I'm gonna delay those faces those left faces 
and now we are ready the subdivision is right but not on the border of the object uh, let's turn let's add a turbo smooth here to this piece and as you can see uh, well my hole is uh, nice and clean the edges of the of the object are not actually uh, complete but uh, let's just take a quick look at this that's why I don't want to have diagonals like this one uh, at the border of my objects let's add a couple of uh, swift loops like here 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 another one here another one here let's take a look at the bottom I just need uh, yeah I'm gonna use two because uh, the back face is still here if there were no back face I will not double those uh, lines this one this one I mean and this one but the back face is still there and I need to take care of this side too let's add a couple of lines let's take a look here a couple of lines to make it uh, nice round corners uh, now I can turn on back the turbo smooth and click here to show the end result well do I want this curve or not um, uh, this is my choice now uh, let's say I want to um, um, I want this ang angle to be uh, nice and clean too so let's add two four loops here and now if I turn the turbo smooth back on again so here is the result all right perspective okay here it is nice and tight exactly what I wanted with a lovely hole here uh, you can see through the hole is vertical so now quickly said let's add a, just a, from the front view a little light from octane a daylight yeah uh, like this so we can see the whole uh, P to go to the perspective view turn on the render engine kernel open the render viewport and here it is as you can see a lovely nice vertical hole on an angled object with a very nice subdivision for the uh, the edges which are uh, not so sharp just a little rounded and that's exactly what I wanted to achieve to achieve so well I think uh, you've learned what you were what you wanted to learn to uh, sing looking at the title of this video um, like dislike subscribe give me a comment um, I'm gonna try to make uh, my videos shorter uh, because as I told at the beginning I used to explain everything uh, see you very soon thank you very much for uh, following me thanks a lot